I want to talk to you um, for a couple minutes, uh, something supporting Psalm 107. <laughs> and I was actually able to use it today in, in a counseling session, which I thought was just, it was awesome, it was amazing. Um, <clears throat> first of all, Psalm 107, uh, King David wrote, basically it's about, you know, it's about um, training, discipline, deliverance, and it covers people from all walks of life or from... <clears throat> from many, many parts of people uh, from different environments. Um, mountains, uh, you know, the city, wilderness, um, and at, <clears throat> people out at sea. Um, you can read it and see. Uh, and, and whether they're being disciplined or trained, they're basically they're, they're going through all the same thing. They're going through various hardships and to where they all have to call out for God and God comes and delivers them. Um, and that's that's a nutshell of what's going on with it. And, and no matter what's going on, it keeps saying, see that God is good and, you know, call on him and give him thanks because he's good. He's good to us. Um, and I noticed this yesterday. And then um, today, you know, we're, uh, we're, we're serving lunch and um, at the church. We're serving lunch. And, you know, I found out that I was going to be doing the counseling session today. And I didn't think anyone was going to show up. I was like, oh, well. But then I ended up talking to one guy, and we came back here. And, um, <clears throat> and uh, you know, he, he's going through a, a pretty rough time, a very, very rough time. But the good thing is he doesn't have any addictions, and he's, you know, no major you know, chemical powers are, are holding him down or anything. But he's having a severely, severely hard time with his work crew and, um, you know, not sure where he's going to be staying or anything, and he, he's like, man, I just, I don't understand what's going on here. I don't, I don't know, you know, why do I keep on ending up in the same situation over and over? <clears throat> and, you know, he's, he's lost his IDs, you know, his money's being held from him, and he's just in a, in a terrible situation. And, there was a lot that happened during during the counseling. Um, you know, I talked to him because I, I know a situation. I've been in it before, so I was almost able to finish the sentences for him, and I had to keep on telling him, "Calm down, calm down. Just pay attention to this." And I was at the the beginning of the meeting. It was just it hit it hit it dead on. I said, "Hey, I want to tell you something about God here because this guy's very confused about how God works. He believes in everything, but he's so confused. He thinks he's, you know, going to hell because this or that's gone wrong." And I had to completely change that way of thinking because God does not work like that. God is cool. You know, He's very very cool, but He is God's way. He's not our way. Um, so I was able to read to him, you know, Psalm 107 very carefully, and he started understanding. He's like, "I get it." It's like, now, do you see? It's not necessarily that you so-called are doing something wrong all the time, but maybe God's trying to shake your attention. He's trying to get your attention, make you start thinking about some things because the same thing keeps happening over and over. And that's what was going on in Psalm 107. So <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm blessed. I was, you know, I was able to, you know, at least touch, the Lord allowed me to touch one person and with my own experiences in life. So I, I knew what his mind was. This guy, he's like, I mean, he's, he's an out-of-towner, and he's like, he's in his early 40s, and he basically has the maturity, the, the, the mental, the heart maturity of someone who's like 18 years old. He's very innocent. He doesn't know what's going on. He's very trusting, but, you know, he's, he's not in the best way of life, but he wants to be, and he's afraid of God. So um, I'm, I'm just, I wanted to, to just give out this testimony about this, you know. Um, you know, what's the bottom line on it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, just read, read the psalm and, you know, just look for any opportunity. You never know when God's going to send an opportunity across your path. And maybe not 10 people or 20 people, maybe just one person. That one person counts very much. Thanks a lot.